So this is a short video showing how to animate the eye direction controller on a 3D animated character in Maya. And I'm going to show you how to use the eye direction controller correctly and also how to use it to make sure that when you animate a character talking, the eyes don't swim all over the screen. So the first thing we want to do is set up our shot. Now, I'm using the 11 rig here. Um, I'm just going to remove this. This is a, um, a face camera that I created earlier on, which we don't need. Um, now, the 11 rig is a very nice rig. It's a blog post at Animation Apprentice on how to use it. And here it is. Um, the, blog, the, the character 11 was, of course, created by the guys at the 11 Second Club. So you should definitely always credit them for creating this excellent rig and for sharing it with the rest of us. Um, there are a few notes at the blog on how to use this rig, so it's always worth checking in um, and let me know if there's anything I haven't noted here because I always try and keep this updated so that everyone has a good idea of how to use it. Now, what we want to do, first of all, when we're animating, let's say we're animating a character talking. Let's say Eleven is talking. Let's say there's a line of dialogue. One of the first things we want to do is create a camera. So I'm going to go to Create Cameras Camera. I'm going to call this Shot Cam and I'm going to go to panels look through selected and then I'm going to move that camera into position so let's say we want the character let's say we want to do a, a mid shot and the character is looking at another character off screen so that's our shot camera we're looking through the shot camera we're going to turn on the resolution gate so that we know what our aspect ratio is and once we've done that Let's go ahead and lock that camera off. So I'm going to drag select the translates and rotates and go to right click lock selected and that's now locked off. Now here in the perspective view, um, there's our shot camera by the way, um, we can see our, we, we can dolly move and zoom even as our character over here is locked off. So now what we want to do is take the eye direction control and move it over here so that our character 11 is talking to someone over here and what I'm going to do to make this even more clear is a little trick that I have described in one of my blog posts which is to create a second character and I'm going to do this very very simply by going to create polygon primitives cube and then I'm going to move this cube over and I'm going to press the scale tool that's R on your keyboard and I'm going to turn it into a big cube or a bigger cube so that 11 has someone to talk to now I don't want this in my shot camera I don't want to animate this character obviously I can't animate a cube but even if I did have a real character there I wouldn't really want to animate it and there's a good reason for that, and that it's when you introduce a second character into your shot, you create twice as much work for yourself. So my top tip to, for you is get that character off screen. I know in live action in a two shot, you probably have the character here over the shoulder. But let's get it out of the way in animation so we don't have to animate it. And then you can concentrate on what you really want to do, which is make this character work. So I'm going to name pcube one character two. So we know that it's the second character that um, uh, that Eleven is talking to and now we want to take that eye direction controller has it gone and move it over here onto the second character Let's see if I can find the blasted thing what am I done with it where has the eye direction controller gone what am I done with it? Okay, so what I've actually done is I've actually managed to hide it behind the second character. So let's just move that back a little bit further over there. And there we go. There's our eye direction control. And let's move that into position so that it sits in the same place as the character. So now Eleven is looking at the second character. And in theory, whatever I do with Eleven's head, the head will always follow the eye direction controller eye direction controller except that it doesn't and the reason for this is something peculiar to the rig and something peculiar to many rigs which is that we need to change the settings on the eye direction controller so that when we move the rig around or move the head around 
the eyes continue to look at the eye direction controller. You'd think this would be done by default, but it actually isn't. So let me show you the blog post. So here's the blog post about 11, and I'm just going to scroll down to the bit that is important. Eye controller settings. The eye direction control, which is named eye all control on this rig, works best when you change the aim slider in the channel box from head to world. This way the eyes will still follow the control even when you rotate the head. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to change the aim slider in the channel box from head to world. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the control. And here it is, aim, and we want to change it from head to world. Now, once we've done this, we should find that now when I um, move the head, that the eyes continue to be parented onto the eye direction controller. So now obviously I can move the eye direction controller wherever I want, but crucially, even when I move the body around, the eyes will still follow the eye direction controller. And this will help a lot in making sure that you don't get swimmy eyes in your shot or zombie eyes. Um, uh, and enables us to believe that whatever Eleven is doing when he or she is acting up here in the, in, the, in, the, in the camera view, his or her eyes will always be looking at this second character in the screen. We're not going to animate this sec second character in the screen, but we will believe that Eleven is always looking at this second character. So that is a brief video introduction on how to use the eye direction controller, how to set it up so that you can uh, make sure that your characters are always looking at each other. And if you want to see a little bit more about this, <clears throat> read this blog post, uh, Why Eye Direction Matters. And it's one of the most important things to get right, because it's one of the most important mistakes made by junior animators, um, that we don't animate our characters looking at each other. Um, and you can see, if you watch this little video by Michael Caine on acting in film, he talks about how one of the most important things that actors do on stage is, quote, hold on to each other's eyes. We want exactly the same thing to happen with our characters, that they look at each other. These are some characters from my cartoon strip in the Times. So that is a brief tutorial on how to set up the eye direction control and make it work for you.